Dialogue with a Christian Part 2 Dialogue with a Christian Part 2 Christian, you are trying to convince me that Jesus was not a divine person. What about the major doctrine of Christianity, namely Trinity that affirms the divinity of Jesus? In fact Christianity is nothing without this doctrine. Muslim, Trinity did not exist during the first 300 years after Jesus, peace be upon him, and many leaders from the Apostolic Church opposed it because they considered it as an innovation. Jesus, peace be upon him, did not teach his followers Trinity. The oneness of God was the belief of early Christians. The Apostles' Creed was I believe in God the Almighty until 128 d. Some Apostolic Church leaders such as Irenaeus, Tertullian, Lactinson and Arius opposed and condemned innovations that led to the Trinity. The ratification of Trinity in the Constantinople Council at Nicaea was motivated by political considerations and not by religious belief. The fact that Constantine ratified the Trinitarian doctrine and died in the faith of those who believed in the oneness of God explained well that his first move to ratify Trinity was motivated by political considerations and not by religious belief. There has been controversy about Trinity since its start. Many Christian sects and scholars emerged during the history of Christianity to solve the Trinitarian controversy. Over a million of Christians were killed during the years following the ratification of Trinity because they did not believe in the Trinity dogma and continued to believe in the oneness of God and the manhood of Jesus as a great prophet. This indicates that Christians were compelled to believe in Trinity. Trinity does not exist in this name in the Bible. The Church relies on Matthew 28 verse 19. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This was considered as a proof for the Trinity. However, these are three distinct and separate names and not one. Also there is not any indication here that the three are one God. The only proof of Trinity was in 1 John 5 7, which stated, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost and these three are one. This proof was in King James Version but it was discarded by 32 Christian scholars who represented 50 denominations in 1946 and does not exist anymore in the Revised Standard Version of the Bible. The New Bible Dictionary said, the term Trinity is not itself found in the Bible. It was first used by Tertullian at the close of the 2nd century, but received wide currency and formal elucidation only in the 4th and 5th centuries. It also said, the formal doctrine of the Trinity was the results of several inadequate attempts to explain who and what the Christian God really is. Christian, if Trinity is an innovation, Jesus is not God because he is supposed to be one person of Trinity. But this contradicts another major doctrine of Christianity. It is redemption doctrine. Jesus was crucified to death to restore man to the grace of God after he lost it when Adam committed the original sin. Muslim, the Christians claim that Jesus was crucified to death to save them from the original sin has no validity for many reasons. The atonement of the original sin committed by Adam and Eve has no place in the Bible. Jesus came to call sinners to repentance, Luke 5 verse 32. Jesus commanded his followers to repent because the kingdom of God is near, Mark 1 15 Matthew 4 verse 17, and to ask God for forgiveness, Matthew 6 verse 12. Also the disciples went out to preach for repentance, Mark 6 verse 12. Jesus guided the one who asked him how to get salvation and inherit eternal life to obey the commandments, Matthew 19 17 and Mark 10 19. Everyone will be reckoned on the day of judgment, Matthew 12 verses 36 to 37 and Romans 14 verse 12. Jesus addressed his followers that it is the sins that throw any person into the hellfire, Matthew 5 verse 22 and Matthew 5 verses 29 to 30 and Matthew 18 verses 8 to 9. Also he warned them that they will not enter the kingdom of heaven unless they become really righteous and to make every effort for that, Matthew 5 verse 20 and Luke 13 verse 24. But people should act according to the commandments in order to be eligible for eternal life, Luke 18 verse 20. Many did good things in the name of Jesus but they will not enter the kingdom of God because they were sinners, Matthew 7 verses 22 to 23. Those who speak blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven but sins or blasphemy other than this will be forgiven through repentance, Matthew 12 verses 13 to 32 and Mark 3 verses 28 to 29 and Luke 12, 10 and Luke 19 verses 8 to 10, or through ignorance, Luke 23 verse 34. Unless people repent, they cannot avoid punishment, Luke 13 verse 2 and 13 colon 5 and Luke 21 verses 34 to 36. 
Therefore, it is not the salvation of blood through crucifixion but avoiding evil deeds and approaching good deeds save people from the hellfire and qualify them for the kingdom of heaven. What about all nations before Jesus? Who saved them from the original sin? It is not just for all humans to take the responsibility of Adam's sin. Jesus had to know that he came for the atonement of the original sin. But Jesus did not know that his death was for the atonement of the original sin because according to the alleged story of crucifixion he was sorrowful and deeply distressed and started praying. Oh my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, Luke 22 verse 42. And the last words of Jesus were my God, my God, why have you forsaken me, Matthew 27 verse 46 and Mark 15 verse 34. The differences and contradictions between the Gospels about the story of crucifixion, which is the greatest event in the life of Jesus, bring evidence that the narrators have no sure facts about the crucifixion events. For example, Matthew 12 verse 40 said, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. However, Jesus was in the tomb one day and two nights because he was in the tomb the night of Saturday, the day of Saturday, the night of Sunday and early in the morning of Sunday he was not found in the tomb. Most of the bishops of England question the information related to Jesus in the Bible. Daily News 25684 reported the following, the poll of 31 of England's 39 bishops shows that many of them think that Christ's miracles, the virgin birth, and the resurrection might not have happened exactly as described in the Bible. Christian, it seems to me from your dialogue that Jesus was not God but a man who was honored by God to be his messenger who confirmed the oneness of God. Muslim, the evidence about the oneness of God is presented clearly through the words of Jesus in the New Testament. He did not leave any doubt about the oneness of God when he excluded himself from divinity. The following are examples of his words. When Jesus was addressed as good teacher he did not refer the goodness to himself but to his God alone, no one is good except God alone, Matthew 19 verse 17 and Mark 10 verse 18 and Luke 18 verse 19. When one of the teachers of the law asked Jesus about the most important commandment, Jesus answered, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Mark 12 32. By stating this Jesus confirmed that God is his Lord who is one. Jesus addressed Mary Magdalene before he ascended to his Lord that he is going to his God. Go instead to my brothers and tell them I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. John 20 verse 17. No more explicit statement than this in which Jesus affirmed that the Lord is his God by saying, My God. Jesus prayed to God and made a clear distinction between himself and God. In John 17 verse 3 he said, Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Jesus made it clear that he was a mediator between God and people. He said, For there is one God, and one mediator, messenger, between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Timothy 2 colon 5. Christian, what does Islam say about Jesus? Muslim, Islam presented the truth about Jesus. The Holy Quran rejected the claim of those who said that Jesus, peace be upon him, is God. In fact the Quran mentioned that Jesus, peace be upon him, asked his people to worship his God and their God. Certainly disbelieved who say, Allah, God, is the Messiah, the Son of Mary while the Messiah has said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Indeed. He who associates others with Allah Allah has forbidden him paradise, and his refuge is the fire. And there are not for the wrongdoers any helpers. The Quran 5 hours 72 minutes. Jesus, peace be upon him, told his Lord that he did not say to his people to take him God as it is illustrated in the Quran. Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Jesus will say to his Lord, I only told people what you instructed me to tell them, to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O oh Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. Quran 5 colon 116 117. The Quran 4 colon 171, 1919, 21 hours 91 minutes, 66 colon 12, 347, and 3. 
59 clearly stated that God sent his messenger, Gabriel, to Mary to give her glad tiding of a blessed boy and then God blew into her through angel Gabriel and directed his word, B, and he was Jesus. Peace be upon him. Gabriel, peace be upon him, said, I am not a human. I am only a messenger from your Lord who he has sent to you for me to give you a good pure child. Miriam, 91. O messenger! Also mention the story of Mary peace be upon her, who protected herself from fornication. Allah then sent Gabriel, peace be upon him, to her, and he blew into her. Consequently, she became pregnant with Jesus, peace be upon him. They were both signs for the people of the power of Allah, and proofs that nothing is beyond Allah's capability such that he created Jesus without a father. Allah and Baya, 91. And Allah also mentions an example for those who have faith in him and his messengers, in the condition of Mary the daughter of Imran who safeguarded her private parts from fornication. So Allah commanded Gabriel to blow into her due to which she fell pregnant through the power of Allah with Jesus the son of Mary, without a father. She also believed in the religions of Allah and the books revealed to his messengers, and she was obedient to Allah by fulfilling his commands and refraining from the things he did not allow. At Tarim 12 Mary was surprised that she was to have a child without a husband and said in astonishment, How can I have a child when no man has come near me in a lawful or unlawful way? The angel said to her, Just as Allah will create a child for you without a father, he creates whatever he wishes even though it may be out of the ordinary. When Allah wishes for something, he says be and it is. Nothing can stop him doing as he wills. Ali Imran, 47 Indeed, when God decrees a matter, he says to it be and it is. The example of Jesus, peace be upon him is like that of Adam. God created Adam from dust and then he said to him be and he was. This is stated clearly in the Holy Quran. With Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? The Quran, Ali Imran, 3, 59 The Holy Quran refutes the only begotten son dogma, some of the idolaters said, Allah has taken the angels as daughters. Allah is free of their statement. He, may he be glorified, is self-sufficient and is not in need of any of his creation. The control of whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. You, O oh idolaters, do not have any proof for this statement of yours. Are you saying such a serious statement about Allah, by attributing a child to him even though you do not know the reality of this and you have no proof? The Quran Yunus, 10 68 Claiming a son for God does not befit his majesty as the Quran stated, it does not befit Allah to have a son, exalted and free he is from this. When he intends something, it is enough for him to say regarding this thing, B, and it most definitely becomes. So he who is like this is free from having a son. The Quran, Miriam, 19, 35 It is the greatest sin to attribute a son or a partner to God. The Quran stressed this point. The Jews, the Christians and some of the idolaters said, The merciful has taken a son. You who say this have indeed brought something monstrous. The heavens almost rupture because of this detested statement, the earth almost splits, and the mountains almost fall in ruins. All of this because they have attributed a son to the merciful. Allah is high above that by far. It is not befitting of the merciful to take a son as he is pure of that. There is no angel, human being or jinn in the heavens and earth but that he will come in submission to his Lord on the day of judgment. He has full knowledge of them and has numbered them exactly. Nothing of theirs is hidden from him. Each one of them will come to him on the day of judgment alone, without any helper or any wealth. Miriam 88-95 God chose from among his servants messengers to convey his message to human beings through human history. Jesus, peace be upon him, was one of the beloved messengers to the children of Israel. The Quran addressed Jesus, peace be upon him, as a messenger. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger like other messengers. Just as death occurs to other messengers, it will occur to him as well. His mother, Mary, was a truthful and sincere woman. Both of them were in need of and used to consume food. How can they be gods when they were in need of food? Look, O messenger, and think about how, make clear to them the signs indicating my oneness and the falsehood of their extremism in attributing lordship to others besides me. Despite this, they do not recognize these signs.
then look and think about how they are misled from the truth, despite these clear signs indicating my oneness. Say, O Messenger, as an argument against their worship of others besides Allah, do you worship that which can bring you no benefit and which cannot protect you from any harm? Such a God is in reality very weak. Whilst Allah is high above any state of weakness, Allah alone is the one who hears your statements and knows your actions. Nothing remains hidden from Him and He will repay you accordingly. The Quran Almighty, 5, 75-76 Jesus, peace be upon him, came to confirm the scriptures before him and to give glad tidings of the next messenger after him. The Quran stated. Remember, O messenger, when Jesus son of Mary, peace be upon him, said, O Israelites, I am Allah's messenger. He has sent me to you to confirm the Torah that was revealed before me. I am nothing new among the messengers. I have come to give the good news of a messenger who will come after me, whose name is Ahmad, Muhammad. When Jesus brought the evidence indicating his truthfulness to them, they said, This is clear magic, and we will never follow you. The Quran as Saf, 61, 6. The Holy Quran affirmed the oneness of God in all its chapters. It stresses three subjects, the oneness of God, Islamic monotheism, the stories of the prophets, and Islamic law and manners. The last two subjects carry the message of Islamic monotheism too. The chapter Ali Klaus in the Holy Quran describes God. Say, O Messenger, He is Allah who is alone in being a deity. There is no deity except Him. Say, He is Allah, who is, one. Alone, without another, indivisible with absolute and permanent unity and distinct from all else. The one and only true deity, unique in His essence, attributes and deeds. He is the master to whom belongs all sovereignty and perfect, beautiful qualities. The one to whom all creation turn to. Allah, the eternal refuge. He who is absolute, perfect, complete, essential, self-sufficient and sufficient to meet the needs of all creation. The one eternally and constantly required and sought, depended upon by all existence and to whom all matters will ultimately return. The one who did not give birth to anyone, nor did anyone give birth to him. So he has no offspring, may he be glorified, nor any parent. He neither begets nor is born. Nor does he have any equal from his creation. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Quran, Iklas, 112,1-4 Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, considered this chapter equals a third of the Holy Quran because it confirms the oneness of God. The Holy Quran refutes the dogma of Trinity because it is a man-made doctrine. The Christians who say that Allah is part of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but He is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. Will these people not retract this statement, repent to Allah and ask His forgiveness for the idolatry they committed? Allah is forgiving towards the one who repents, whatever may have been the sin, even if it was disbelief. Allah is compassionate to the believers. The Quran Almighty, 5, 73-74 God warned Christians not to say three, Trinity, and not to call Jesus, peace be upon him, Son of God but God's Messenger. The Quran clarified this point explicitly. Say, O Messenger, to the Christians who receive the Gospel, do not overstep the limits in your religion and do not say anything but the truth about Allah in relation to Jesus. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, is only Allah's messenger sent with the truth. He created him by his word which he sent with Gabriel to Mary, which was the word be, and he became. It was a breath from Allah which Gabriel blew with Allah's instruction. So have faith in Allah and all his messengers without making a distinction between them. Do not say, the gods are three. Avoid saying this false statement and it will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. Allah is the only one God free of any partner or child. He is self-sufficient. The dominion of the heavens, the earth and whatever is in between the two is His. He is sufficient as a guardian to carry out the affairs of His creation. The Quran Anissa, 4, 171 Jesus, peace be upon Him, was neither killed nor crucified as the Quran stated. I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter.
they have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. Anissa 157-158 Christian, it is clear now that God must be one and none has the right to be worshipped besides him. Also Islam is the only religion that confirms this truth. Therefore, would you please tell me how to become a Muslim? Muslim, you can become a Muslim by pronouncing the testimony of Islam. A.S.H. Hadu Allah Ilaha Ilaha Allah Wa A.S.H. Hadu Anna Muhammadin Rasul Allah The English translation of the Shahada is I bear witness that there is no deity, none worthy of worship, but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah. Christian A.S.H. Hadu Allah Ilaha Ilaha Allah Wa A.S.H. Hadu Anna Muhammadin Rasul Allah Muslim, praises and thanks are due to Allah, 